Hello to anyone who happens to come across this video. My name is Robin and I just want to share another um, kind of cool story about a historical place in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada area, but it is also somewhere that is potentially haunted. There isn't any particularly um, specific stories that go along with it as far as paranormal stuff goes. However, it does have a pretty cool history and like I said, or I don't think I said, but it is a national historical site in Canada. It is in Hamilton, Ontario. So I do have my laptop here because I just want to make sure I don't miss any of the facts or miss say anything, uh, misspeak at all. So I'm going to be talking about um, the Griffin House, which um, is a historical landmark. Uh, the house was built in 1827 and it was sold in 1834 along with 50 acres of land to a man named Enrolls Griffin. I'm sorry if Enrolls is not the correct pronunciation. That's just I'm pronouncing it how it's spelled. Um, Enrolls was an African-American man who was born in 1794 into slavery in Virginia, USA. However, he was able to escape slavery and he did move to Canada to be free in, I believe, 1829. And then a few years later in 1834 is when he um, got the house, which is now known as the Griffin House or the Griffin Homestead. Enrolls' house stayed in the Griffin family, for or his family, for over a century and is now a Canadian historical site. I believe it was 154 years, roughly about that, that it stayed in his family before it was bought to be a historical landmark. Uh, it has gone under some, um, I don't want to say renovations, restorations. It has gone under some restorations just to keep the house uh, in its peak position. It is a two-story or a 1.5-story house. So it is, it is, I would think, a fairly decent-sized house for its time. And again, 50 acres of land is a lot of land. Um, so as far as paranormal information goes, there isn't anything particularly um, specific spooky stories that go about the house or about Enerals. However, people that have been there have seen men or other people um, that are not with their group in the uh, in the woods around or the surrounding property, as well as people have said they've seen faces in the, in the windows of the house. Um, so there is a little bit like uh, some paranormal stories you can find on the internet. People have kind of shared about like what they've seen, pictures they've taken, uh, orbs they've captured on camera or on video. So it is definitely a uh, place where there has been some form of paranormal activity to, for some people. Um, I have been there. It was years ago when I was there. I don't specifically recall anything um, out of the ordinary happening or seeing anything. However, there was a few pictures that were kind of questionable as to whether it was faces in the windows or if it was just the reflection of the trees in the background. Uh, I don't really know where any of the pictures are. If I can find them, I will put them in. But yeah, so if you have any interest in the Griffin House and the history of it, or the history of Enrolls Griffin and his family, or in the paranormal activity aspect of it, it's definitely a cool place to check out if you're in the Hamilton area. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this a little bit interesting.